The San Antonio Rampage returned home to the AT&T Center after nearly a month, and they got a 4-2 win over the Grand Rapids Griffins. But tonight was not about wins or losses. It was about the Rampage themselves. As news came out a few weeks ago, the team will be leaving at the end of the season and move relocating to Las Vegas. And as you can imagine, the fans are not happy. As Golden Knights fans are pumped, there is a second professional hockey team set to move to our valley. The news was like a shot to the heart. On the afternoon of Thursday, February 6, San Antonio hockey fans learned they would have just 12 games left to say goodbye to their team forever. Spurs Sports and Entertainment announced they had sold their AHL license to the Vegas Golden Knights and the team would relocate to Nevada at the conclusion of the 2019-2020 season. This is not the first time the Alamo City has lost a hockey franchise, but it doesn't make the news any easier to bear. I felt like I was blindsided. Um, and then they felt, I, I, I felt like they quickly did a sale as a, in a manner to make a quick buck. Um, they didn't think about the fans, their employees, let alone players. So it was really, really poorly done and managed. Frustrated, disappointed, upset. Those were some of the words I heard from fans. The chant, We Won Hockey, rang throughout the AT&T Center in the Rampage's 4-2 win over Grand Rapids on Friday night as they let the ownership know they are hurt and angry. Because of the way it happened. I mean, I'm flipping through Facebook and it's on Facebook. There was no email. There was no notification. It was on Facebook. I mean, and it wasn't even... It was just a Facebook post from the San Antonio Rampage. I mean, so it, was, it wasn't even done right. It wasn't handled right. Following Friday night, the team has just 11 games left in this city. They have won six of their last seven games, and they are still in the playoff hunt, and the news of their departure seems to have inspired their play. I think guys want to guys wanna finish uh, off well here. We want to give the, the fans a nice... A nice playoff push and hopefully get in and then uh, you never know what happens there. So I think it'll be good for the fans and good for our team to, to make playoffs and, and see what happens. No one knows if the Rampage will play another game in San Antonio following April 11th. But one thing is certain. San Antonio hockey fans are passionate. And it is that passion that may bring the sport back to this city one day. Luckily for Rampage fans, the team has a whole month left in San Antonio. Their final game in the Alamo City after 18 years will be on Saturday, April 11th. Reporting from the AT&T Center for the Project Spurs Network, I'm Steven Anderson.